When COVID first started, we were a little unprepared, basically telling us to stay six feet apart, away from everyone. But in a police setting, we're unable to. In the precinct, in the streets, traffic stops, uh, 911 calls, just basically impossible to stay away from everyone. Sometimes you have to quickly respond. You're, you're, you're running to a call, you're running to save someone, you're running to help. It's lights and sirens going to them. I don't have time to drive effectively, slow down for red lights and try to get to this person, reach over, grab a mask and take the precautions necessary. I mean, I put my life in, in danger trying to help out someone else. We got to work one day and they just explained it to us, hey, we're short as a department as it is. So we're gonna need you guys 12 hour shifts today, tomorrow, day after, day after, day after. I may have went 20 plus days. I can't even remember how long it was, but it was possibly 20 plus days that we went 12 hour shifts. We were tired, we were, we were overwhelmed. It, it affected my personal life. It, it made me view things differently as far as trying to place work aside from my personal life. So I'm from Chicago. I have, I have children and one of my kids has pre-existing health conditions. So with COVID even being in, in the picture, I'm around a lot of people. I, at the time, didn't know if I was asymptomatic or if I was just someone who caught it who didn't know at the time. So me and my son, we decided that I had to just stay away from it. And with COVID existing as long as it did and it's still existing now, I was unable to see my son for maybe a year. It was quite difficult to fly back and forth to Chicago to see my other son. Here's your children that you're unable to see due to COVID. Not being able to see my, my family, it was, it was a lot to take in. I mean, it was a little bit understood by my children. It was a little bit understood by the family. But I was able to get time to talk with them and speak with them, FaceTime them, show them I'm still there, I'm still here. They still see my cape at the end of the day. You're just trying to manage your time as far as, you know, what you have to do outside of work to get prepared for work. I wanna to go to work, do my job, help someone out, help out the community. I wanna be the one to respond to a person who's calling for help and I wanna help them.